We are all chosen. We were made the inheritance of Christ. That's wonderful. We are Christ's inheritance. Both ideas are true. We are Christ's inheritance as He is ours. We are treasures of God through Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the pearl of great price that we seek. He is our treasure. In Him, Christ is the center of God's plan. Only in Christ is there a meaningful future. Only living for Jesus gives meaning to life. We are all redeemed to be the praise of God's glory or otherwise to be the display of of His glory. And finally this morning, we're sealed by the Holy Spirit. Now for us, we don't understand all of this uh, as they did back yonder. Other than the best way we can say is, when you get five pounds of flour, or is it four pounds now? I know they've raised prices. But whatever it says on that, that flour bag is sealed. And it says to you, this flour bag has all it's supposed to be. You don't have flour and cornmeal. You just have flour. And you have five pounds of it. And so what it says is that when we're sealed by the Spirit of God, God is saying they have everything that they're supposed to have in Jesus Christ. When God sees the seal of the Holy Spirit in us, He sees Christ in us. He says, in whom you also trusted. The time of our sealing by the Holy Spirit coincides with the time of our believing. When we believed in Jesus Christ, we were sealed by the earnest of the Spirit. In Paul's day, a seal denoted ownership and security. The presence of the Holy Spirit, the seal, is the believer's guarantee of the security of his salvation. This earnest, and everybody who's ever bought a house knows that you have to give them some earnest money. And that's earnest money says, this is a deposit down for what I intend to pay. And I intend to make the full payment. God is saying, the Holy Spirit seal upon you tells you he's going to fulfill your salvation. Remember, salvation is complete when we are glorified. Glorification comes. We are no longer in this flesh. We are no longer have a potential to sin because our spirit and our soul have been united in a glorified body and there's no sin in us. That's when our salvation is consummated. Amen? Amen? Right now we're born again. Right now we are walking in salvation. By and by, we will see that salvation consummated as we enter into the glory of God. Whether through death, through the rapture, <coughs> or the final of the millennial kingdom, we will see God. The Holy Spirit still is also a pledge on the believer's future inheritance. The Holy Spirit's a down payment upon everything you're going to get from God. Your entire inheritance. Amen? The Bible says we're going to rule and reign with Christ over the nation. In conclusion, in Christ we are blessed. In Him we have received forgiveness of sin and being sealed by the Holy Spirit as a deposit on the consummation of our salvation and our future inheritance. We, both Jew and Gentile, have been united as one in Jesus Christ. All that God bestowed on the Jews is now bestowed on us, the Gentiles. Our brother comes and says,